second half. So we will see if they can hold on for the time being. Some scrappy defense from Demila Brown. They will get it back. A one on two, but Brown is able to convert nonetheless. Good stuff from Demila Brown there. If this Illini team is going to be able to contend with Florida State in the pace of play game, Demila Brown is going to be extremely important. She brings a level of energy to this team that makes everyone, everyone else around her better, and that is going to be very important. She is the poster child for what Illinois is trying to do on defense. Scrappy, pesky, chaos creators. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to be effective. And right on cue right there, Brown and Bostic combining for some scrappiness. And Brown will reset. A little bit more of a patient look here from the Fighting Illini on this first real offensive set since the break. They doubled the turnovers that Florida State had, but they're trying to remain patient, but they just got to find the right pass. And another turnover, some good defense from Florida State. Tried to find Lopez in the post, but she was doubled. Good awareness, good communication. We'll talk about that in terms of help side communication, defensive communication. That's really something they've put a premium on. Trying to go inside, a little too strong, and Courtney Weber will get to the line. On that point, help side, defense, communication, that's been a big focus for them. They, they always seem to be there, right place at the right time, and. The team actually attributes their success at blocking to that. Seven blocks per game, leading the ACC in that regard. So ideally, Illinois, you'd think we need to run plays, draw multiple defenders, make the Knolls run around the court. They've done a little bit of that, but again, off-ball movement has been a weakness for the Illini throughout the season. And that's something that the Seminoles can exploit with the amount of experience this team has. Just three underclassmen for the Seminoles. They're going to make sure that they have that understanding, they're able to use the blocking and their defensive aspects of the game as an asset and try to catch their opponents off guard on both ends of the floor. Courtney Weber makes one of two. Anastasieska back into the game. Drives now, kicks it out. An additional pass inside to Brown. She'll make a drive of her own and a nice move to get some separation. That's great improvisation there by Demila Brown. We were just talking about it. Scrappy is key, and she embodies that, being able to get it done no matter how it looks. That was really well played by Demila Brown. Similar to how SIUE made Bostic play towards the three-point line. Illinois trying to make River Baldwin move a little bit back. A long three from Gordon is good. That's the danger of a player like Omaria Gordon. We've seen this from her throughout this season. Definitely one to watch. If you're gonna force it outside, you've gotta put a man on her and that is something the Fighting Illini potentially learned from that shot just then. Lopez realizing she's overmatched, so we'll pass it back out. Anastasiesco wants it. She'll take the floater off the glass and get it and a foul. Seminoles doing a great job locking down in the paint so far in large part due to River Baldwin, but these floaters are falling in right now for the Illini. The game is working in their favor so far. And already a tie game right here, 13-13. That's a strength of both their games. Anastasieska and Brown able to maneuver in and out of traffic and use that to create good looks for others or to uh, body up and, and make contact and draw the foul on the offensive side. Anastasiaska now at the line to convert the three-point play. Unable to do so. And right there is Michaela Timpson for the board. And Anastasiaska, scrappy defense, forcing a turnover for the Seminoles. Once again, trying to keep the Illini defense unsettled, but that's exactly what can happen. That's well defended by Anastasieska, forcing the high pressure play from Courtney Weber. Works out for the Fighting Illini. We just talked about it, bodying up and making contact. And the foul's going her way on both ends. Peebles with a mid range of her own. Illinois doing very well from the outside so far. Both teams averaging north of 40%. That three is no good. And Illinois has been able to hold their own with the rebounds. But a little bit of miscommunication right there. And Florida State will get the ball back. Anastasiaska is taking the blame, it looks like, between her and Demila Brown. Three-point 
three questions that Illinois sort of needs to answer in this game. Can they keep pace in the second half? We'll get to that. Can they find the right personnel combinations? A different starting lineup in every single game. And of course, we've talked about the turnovers are already in this game. 